the world of human feelings has been much less explored than the whole of the universe put together. But now it's late. What have we been doing all these thousands of years? We've been congratulating ourselves on our progress in going faster and faster and faster. When in reality, we've only been getting further away from ourselves. Lucy, take my place, will you? that this culture is killing the planet? Oh, I certainly do. I think uh, Derek Jensen put that very well, uh, very forcefully. I, I think it's becoming more and more unmistakable that that's exactly what's going on. Uh, the deepest institutions are driving this forward. It's a very basic uh, direction and mechanism, and I think it's very hard to, to deny it. Why do you think that is? Why do you think this country is so uh, destructive? Well, I think it has to do with uh, the fruition of certain very basic social institutions, like like division of labor or specialization. The more they advance, the the more ruinous are the consequences. Of the, they just keep marching forward, and and the results become more and more clear as a function of the very nature of the institution. The other one I would say, uh, the way I look at it, is domestication. And uh, as Paul Shepard said, that all of these, the arrival of genetic engineering and cloning and, and so forth, that's nothing but uh, the fruits of, of domestication from the very beginning. It's implicit in the very beginning, is the way he put it. This is the first step. It's the step that brings all the rest. It's, it's just the logic of it. As Adorno would say, the inner logic of, of it. Ser 
cyklar och kan inte hinna fram Men livet det snurrar mot en otryggare fan Det blir så väldigt komplicerat och kan ställa till besvär För inne är vi trygga i vår egna typical for monkeys used in medical research all around the world. These tiny, wire, barren cages with usually nothing in them at all. They are so horrendous. I mean, I've spent my life in the wild. I know what it's like for a, a social living creature with the intelligence of a monkey. They have this rich social life. They're surrounded by their family. They're challenged every day. Their minds are working. And their lives are just fantastic out in the forest. And to see a monkey alone in a cage like that with nothing to do, so that they go completely crazed with boredom and, and sadness, probably. Um, it's deeply, deeply disturbing. One day I was, I was just sobbing and I called a friend of mine, Jeanette Armstrong, who's an Okanagan Indian, and I said to her, God, this work is just killing me, it's just breaking my heart. She said, yeah, I know, it'll do that. I said, man, the dominant culture hates everything, doesn't it? I said, yeah, it does, even itself. I said, it has a death urge, doesn't it? She said, yeah, it does. I said, unless it stops, it's going to kill everything on the planet, isn't it? I said, yeah, yeah, unless it stops. I said, we're not going to make some great new glorious tomorrow, are we? And she said the best thing she could possibly say, which is, I've been waiting for you to say that. And the reason that was the best thing she could say is because it normalized my despair. And it let me know that despair is an appropriate response to a desperate situation. It's not what I want to kill. And it let me know that sorrow is just sorrow, and pain is just pain. And fear is just fear. But what is there to do but survive? Yes, we sing, we dance, sometimes we make jokes, we make love. If not, we deny life. We work for them so we may survive, and we survive for a reason. We're from a sniper's bullet or a rocket attack from an F-16, a crushing, suffocating death beneath the rubble of a bulldozed building, a slow, bleeding death in an ambulance held for hours at a checkpoint, a dark death on the torture tables of an Israeli prison, a random, arbitrary death as their tanks spray a crowd with machine gun fire, a cold, calculated death from malnutrition and curable diseases, a thousand small deaths as, as you watch your family die around you. And, and if you face all of this death and indifference and keep your humanity and your love 